Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan. And we're going to be re replacing our spark plug wires. So I've got a set of spark plug wires here. And uh, this is the part number that I'm going to use. It's a uh, 33-35-6317. Three, three, oh, uh, so yeah, these, these came from the Advanced Auto Parts. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link down below to the equivalent of these um, that I found online for you guys. So, um, yeah. So here we go. So let's get started. So these, these boots do not come pre-greased. Some do. And I like to take a little bit of dielectric grease and, uh, and put that in there. And I'll put a link, a link to this down below. So check that out. I like to put a little bit around each boot like that. And uh, what that'll do is help keep water out, and it'll help you get these plug boots off uh, in the future when you go to take them back off. So I just go around. I do every one of them, even the one that's on the, uh, the coil side. I'm going to do that one, too. I do want to mention the, uh, the kit came with a little packet, too, which works great. Uh, but that's sealed up, and you can see the bottom of this thing blew out on me. I've had this for years. And I'm not sure what happened. I might have stepped on it or something, but um, or rolled over top of it with who knows the creeper or something maybe. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and use this up. So, all right, let's go ahead and go over to the the cool side and do those. You can see these boots are dry too, which is fine. I mean, they give you the grease to put in there, so it's not a not a big deal. Sometimes I'll squeeze them and kind of roll them around a little bit and you see it kind of gives it a nice nice coating in there. So I'm just going to finish these up and then we'll we'll get right back. All right, I pulled my first plug wire off, the original one, and I've got one that it matches it exactly in length. So we're just going to put that one back in its place. I like to start over here with the coil and we're just going to push it in until we feel it kind of click. It feels like a metal kind of click. Make sure that's in there really good. And then we're just going to come over here. We're going to plug this into the spark plug. And again, you're going to get a metal kind of click going on. And it should feel like it has resistance if you try to pull it off. Just like that. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go around here and pull these off one at a time. And sometimes, that's a good, good thing to tell you. Uh, sometimes on these coils you got to kind of twist or the spark plugs you got to kind of twist it a little bit and pull it at the same time and that'll help you get it get it off of there. So we'll go to the next one here and try to find find a wire that matches and looks like that one's really close so we're just going to use that one. And I'm twisting and pushing on at the same time. So we'll run that down below that one. There we go. Go ahead and get that one, pull that off, and remember twist and pull. That seems to work pretty good. And let's find a, a wire over here that matches that. And this one does pretty good right there. That's perfect. So let's put this one in place. And going down below all of these. And uh, let's get our old wires out of the way. <clears throat> and here's the the next three for the back side and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in this little this little holder here so they just snap into this all right so I'm gonna go to the back side now of the engine and do the rest of those the only thing different I kind of saw on this one and this cool pack happens to be labeled right here um, so that that makes it kind of nice that you know it's it is labeled but this last wire here goes to the middle plug in the back. And this middle wire here goes to the wire, goes to the plug all the way in the front of the engine toward the, um, toward the belt and everything. And then this, this wire here goes to the, to the furthest most, the one closest to this coil pack. So that's how they're laid out. The front side just goes, uh, you know, across from... The first wire, the middle wire, or the first plug, the middle plug, and the, the last plug. Here's all of our old plug wires, and I go ahead and save these for a little while at least. Um, I like to have a set of them on the shelf because uh, 
if I do pull a plug wire off in the future and it in the boot rips or or I see one of these new ones arcing to the you know to the engine or something like that I can at least get it on there and get it back on the road and uh, I can address that problem later so let's go ahead and start this thing up and see how it sounds all right guys well there you go you just saw it start up and uh, that's what we were looking for so I'm just gonna put all this stuff back together now and uh, you know maybe take it for a test drive around the farm and make sure it's kind of you know feeling good and uh, that's it so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs>